Okay, hey everybody. I uh, thought it might be a little bit easier to give a short video introduction on how to build RPMs for Ropen cast instead, to, uh, instead of writing a long documentation about this, uh, since things may change anyway and uh, it's not a long lasting documentation. So uh, note that this is only about building RPM packages, which is something which most people won't do. Uh, but if you're interested, especially if you're interested in helping with the official OpenCast RPM packages, please let me know and this is an introduction for that. So uh, for all of this, um, you can use uh, Docker. I have a Docker file which basically uh, gives you everything you need. So technically you only need a CentOS for building this stuff. And uh, if you start with a fresh CentOS 7 package, you can do that. So if we have a look at the short Docker file, uh, which I wrote for this, it's basically, um, again, it's based on CentOS 7. Um, and then I'm just making sure to get some tools which I like to have in there, or want to have in there, or need to have in there. Uh, for example, Git to check things out, uh, get things like uh, curl, um, or, or BIM. And then the important stuff here are these things like the create repo tools, the RPM dev tools, RPM lane, and things like that. So, and of course, the uh, group of development tools. Uh, I've also made some arrangements. I technically, since it's a Docker container, I can just build everything using root, but it's nice to not do that because uh, then you easily notice if there is an error in your spec files and it actually tries to write something into your system instead of the build route. So uh, that's why I add a new user called make RPM here, um, which I, for which I set up some basic stuff like uh, a basic system configuration I have on all my systems. Um, so that's basically it. And uh, I guess we can start from there and just start by uh, launching a Docker container with this. So let's run OpenCast. That's, yeah, that's it. So when we start this, uh, you see we are still root. So we're going to switch from root to the uh, make RPM user. Here we go. So we are now in the Docker container, we are uh, the make RPM user. And then when you look at this, you will actually see that there is already, so there's a system configuration, which is my configuration, because that's why there's the green um, shell and things like that. So that's something you can ignore. And then there is the RPM build folder, which is, uh, basically what we will use to build our RPM packages. And when we have a look at uh, the contents of this uh, folder, you will see that there are several different subfolders in here. There's a spec folder, which holds basically the specification on how to build RPM packages. There's the sources folder, which well holds uh, the sources for the RPM packages to build. Um, then there is the RPMs and the SRPMs folders, uh, which then hold our uh, already finished builds. Well, I mean, RPMs hold the RPMs and uh, SRPM holds the source RPMs. And then there's finally a build folder, which is used for building. Uh, so it's basically a temporary folder. Okay, um, to get these uh, to start a, actually start a build, what we need is uh, either all the files and spec files, or we can start with the salt RPM. That's what we're doing. Uh, so when I let's just have a short look at the package repository. So uh, as you know, you need to log in for the package repository, but you don't need to log in for the uh, as RPMs which are located in the subfolder SRPMs on the web server. And then there is uh, EL7 for CentOS 7, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, and so on. So if we have a look at this, 
you'll notice that there are uh, several different source packages in here. You can just download them. There are some for ActiveMQ, there are some for FFmpeg, and you, so you see these are the packages we, which are regularly built on for the package repository. There's Maven, there is the stream security uh, mod for Apache, which is provided by OpenCast. Um, and then finally, here is the OpenCast package, so 2.2, 2, uh, OpenCast 2.3, OpenCast 3, and finally, there's also OpenCast 4. Um, we will do the preparations for an OpenCast form build, but the, because of it, uh, size and uh, it would take a little bit longer so finally we'll probably build uh, something like FFmpeg instead which is very much fast because we're just doing a static build for that so going away from this page what I'm now going to do is to actually download one of these packages so we'll get the URL for opencast4 let's say uh, copy link address and what I'm now going to do is to locally install this source package so rpm minus ihv uh, don't ask me exactly what this stands for I was install these verbis mode and h I'm not actually sure I forgot anyway this is something you can use to actually install this package locally and since it's a source package what will happen is well let's just do it uh, up, the rpm command can get files via HTTP as you can see it's downloading this and installing this and now if we have a look at the uh, rpm Oh, we're already in the open book folder. So if we now have a look at the folders like the spec folders, we see that now there's an opencast for spec file. And in the sources folder, we have all things we need for an opencast build, which are some specific uh, configuration files, like we are actually replacing the Jetty XML file. Um, there is uh, the log rotation file, which of course OpenCast not necessarily needs, but there, uh, when you install the RPM packages, you already get a log rotate configuration, which is basically this one. Uh, there are some local settings for uh, the Maven build we are going to do. Uh, there's of course the OpenCast for uh, source code, and then there is the Maven repository. Uh, usually wouldn't need it for an OpenCast build because uh, it's downloaded from uh, both Maven Central and our Nexus service during the build. However, this has a disadvantage that uh, if you're doing, uh, going to do a second build later on, uh, it's not guaranteed you that you get the exact same files. And uh, that's why uh, I usually do one build, get the Maven repository locally, and then uh, disable the online mode of Maven, which is why we have the settings file in here. So if you have a look at that, um, sources, settings, then you see that uh, set offline is true and uh, the local repository is set, so uh, build path is actually replaced with the actual build path during the uh, build process. So uh, we can also have a short look at the uh, spec file. Um, the spec file basically says, okay, uh, we have um, things like, uh, so we want to build opencast4 minus ocdist. ocdist is a variable we uh, set up here, so by default it sets so all in one. We could also set it to, uh, let's say, admin during the build process, which would not build then the uh, all-in-one file, but the admin uh, distribution, and the same for presentation, for worker, and so on and so forth. Um, going down, we see that there are build requirements for this. So this is what uh, we need in our Docker container, actually, to have for building OpenCast. 
uh, going down further, we see the requirements for the uh, runtime of OpenCast. Um, and then finally, uh, some description, some preparation stuff, and the build, which actually then starts our making process. So I'm not going through all the details. You can just read through them and try to understand some. And if you have questions, just ask me. Uh, but it's basically what you could also uh, execute manually in a shell. So uh, going through all these steps would also build an open cast. Um, it's just that this also creates packages. And for the contents of the package, finally, there is the installation and the uh, go down here. Uh, the files, oh, here it is. Uh, the files section, which uh, then specifies, okay, um, what we want to have in this package is, for example, uh, the OpenCast folder and all its contents in the system configuration deer. Um, it's actually marked as configuration uh, no replace, meaning that if you have a configuration set up and then upgrade your package, so let's say from OpenCast 4 to OpenCast 4.1, it will not replace the manual ma modified configuration files, which is something you usually don't want to do. Uh, suppose you have a uh, custom properties modified with your custom pass password. Uh, you're doing an OpenCast upgrade and you don't want uh, the upgrade process to override those files but keep the old configuration. Um, for other things, uh, they are not marked as configuration, no replace, uh, and they would actually be um, replaced, which is, for example, uh, the OpenCast service files. And then, of course, uh, things like the open cast, uh, the open cast modules and things like that itself. So that's the short run through of the configuration file, uh, of the spec file. Now, we could theoretically start a build. Um, it won't work like that, but let's just do it anyway. Uh, you start a build by just saying RPM build you have several flags. Minus BA means build all. You can also have uh, RPM build to execute only one step, like uh, only the install step or the build step, uh, which makes things faster. You can also say, OK, I uh, want RPM build to only build the source RPM files. But we are going to build everything. So BA and then OpenCast for spec. Now what happened when I execute this is we'll say, OK, uh, I have several build requirements and you haven't installed these build requirements. These are things like FFmpeg, Hansbill, and so on and so forth. Um, now the problem here is that open car, uh, sorry, that Centris doesn't necessarily come with all of these. Uh, that's why we need the RPM. Uh, the OpenCast repository in the first place, specific for the installation uh, and the build, uh, sorry, specific for the build process. This is uh, FFmpeg and Maven. Uh, FFmpeg is not present in CentOS at all, and Maven is present but uh, in a version which is too old. So um, before we continue, we actually need to enable the. Um, uh, OpenCast repository in our Docker container. And for that, I've switched back to um, the root user. And I'm just doing what you would do to install uh, the repository in any uh, centers. So I'm going to etc, I'm repost um, I'm querying the file from uh, packages.opencast.org. So And now we could enable both OpenCast and OpenCast testing. Uh, of course, you have to tell them to store this file and to use a user. I'm actually going to use the admin user here. Uh, if you don't have a user, just register the user for yourself. And um, 
and turning the password will actually start to download this. I could also, uh, and much like we should, though it wouldn't be necessary at the moment, add the testing repository. That's basically the same command. I'm going to enter my password now. Uh, downloading this, and here we go. We have our OpenCast and OpenCast testing repository set up. So, starting from here, there are a few tools which will help us install everything we need, and that is, uh, or tool specific for installing all the build dependencies is yum minus build app, and I can just throw that on a on the uh, rpm spec file and it will install everything we need so let's just do that and uh, so we have that in specs here we go this will take a minute Oh, I forgot to enable the EPL repository. So. Oh, and second thing I missed is that I actually need to download the OpenCast and repo, not the testing. Luckily, if you actually follow the guides and not do everything from uh, experience, you would actually not have made this mistake. So let's install that. Here we go. You can also or I can remove the old files here uh, and execute the same command again. Now that looks better. Actually, see uh, the to build OpenCast, you have quite some dependencies, and uh, I'm not going to do that because OpenCast uh, builds take quite some time. Uh, but you could install this and then start building OpenCast. So I'm going to hit no. Uh, well, you would normally hit yes. So switching back to the uh, make RPM user. Uh, what I'm going to build instead is FFmpeg, and FFmpeg is built very fast because of th uh, the way we actually build a cast, uh, build FFmpeg, which is to not build it at all, but repackage the static files from uh, FFmpeg.org. So uh, basically, starting the way, same way. Um, I'm going to install the ffmpeg source rpm here. Then I'm going into the rpm build specs directory. Here we go. As you can see now, OpenCast static is here as well. Uh, and if you have a look in the sources directory, you will see that again here is the OpenAST release. Uh, tarball which we need and now let's start the build for ffmpeg it should have no dependency if, if I remember correctly and here we go as you can see all these uh, steps are now executed um, it's now writing both the rpm and the source rpms for ffmpeg
which is way faster than open counts, but still takes some time. Ah, oh, come on. Go finish already. As you can see, while running this, there are some additional checks uh, which RPM will, will automatically execute. There is also RPM lint, which uh, does some additional checks, especially sanity checks for uh, the uh, system-wide rules which are present in CentOS and Fedora and so on. Uh, this would just check for unpackaged files, so if you missed something, it would actually tell you. is so slow. Oh, here we go. So, as you can see, it did write the uh, source RPM file and it also did write the RPM file and as you can see the source RPM file is in the SRPMS uh, th uh, folder and the other one is in the RPMS folder. And now if we check, so going back here and go into the RPM folder, you can see there is an uh, x8664 uh, uh, subfolder, uh, which uh, is basically the architecture. And then we have an FFmpeg RPM. And if we want to, we can try to install this. So actually, we have FFmpeg installed, so it shouldn't do anything. But anyway, we can try to. So going back to root, logging out, and say yum install this file. Oh, it's actually, it would try to install this. Oh, right, we didn't install it before. So I can install this and now I do have an FFmpeg, uh, which I just built and it's now properly installed in my a, a Docker container and I could run FFmpeg and see, hey, here we go. So obviously I wouldn't usually install things I just uh, packaged in this environment because I want to reuse it, though you certainly don't have to, you can always uh, start a fresh Docker container. So that's basically it. Uh, you ended up with an RPM package and you can go from here and build everything you need. So going out of the container, uh, again if we have a look at the the source packages which are provided by packages.opencast.org. Uh, it would basically be the same for all of these, so you can just uh, download ActiveMQ and start the rebuild process from there. Uh, you can also upgrade, you just have to throw the new source file into the sources uh, directory and then upgrade the version in the spec files accordingly. And the same goes for FFmpeg, for Maven, for uh, all these open cast versions and so on and so forth. So that's basically it. That's how you would build open cast um, from the source files. And that's the end of the guide. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me. Uh, I'm happy to provide answers. Uh, especially if you want to help out with packaging later on. So, goodbye.